Yee-haw! Howdy, y'all! Hello, everyone! It is Wednesday! October 9th in the year of our Lord, 2013. How are all y'all doing out there? I'm doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's Yee-haw! Western Wednesday! A.K.A. Happy Hump Day! That's right. And folks, um, today's unofficial sponsor of the show is brought to you by my good friend, my buddy Rob Johnson out of CompuTune, his own computer repair upgrade business. This guy's a walking brain. Lives out in uh, Taunton, Massachusetts. The guy's ultra cool, badass, wicked awesome. And uh, he has helped me personally with my luck of a murder victim with electronic devices. Um... I've had many computer issues, as many of you know, and he talked to him online, and he's helped me out big time. He's helped out some of my friends as well. And Rob, awesome guy. You want your computer fixed? Trust me, he's the guy to go to. Let us know if you need your help. He supports our show. We support his business, by golly. All right, folks. I don't know about you, but I'm pinched. Got to have a good Yeehaw Route 66 class. That's right proper beer consumption apparatus and today's beer of the day boys girls and it's oh yes we can get it down here in yeehaw texas now <sighs> big sky brewing company out of missoula montana moose brown ale a phenomenal favorite of many people it's 5.1 percent of awesomeness it's just a smidge above average strength folks proper beer opening apparatus proper technique a uh, go Voila. 45 degree angle right into the big consumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Haven't spilled a drop yet. Never have, never will. Faith in my outstanding beer pouring abilities. Cheers the best all of you pros, they say in Germany, Kapai as they say in Japan. Mmm. Oh, wow. Straight solid A on this phenomenal beer. God, I love that. It's one of the best brown ales you're ever going to find. Heh, <laughs> I can't say it now, but prior to then, my mouth show is dry. That's right. A.K.A. Pitched. All right. Okay, we got a couple birthdays today. Let's get to them now. My man JP, Boston JP, like me, a wicked hardcore New England sports fan, all the way Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, and Bruins. How about those Red Sox beating the Tampa Bay Rays last night? Three to one. We won the series three games to one, to, and we will face in the American League Championship Series. We're going to face either the Oakland A's, my wife's team, or the Detroit Tigers. Lots of people that like that team. I like both teams. Nothing against either team. I like the Rays. But the best thing of all is the New York Yankees are watching at home because they missed the playoffs. Ha <laughs> ha, you douchebags. All right. Boston JP. JP, happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. Brother, love you, Paige. Keep up the incredible work, man. Absolutely smurfalutely. And the only other birthday today is a lady I haven't heard from in a long, long time. She added a bunch of us from Martha's Vineyard Island as friends a long time ago. Catherine Ford. And uh, I probably met her growing up. Probably summer resident. She's from Connecticut. Catherine, happy birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Drop a line to us. Let us know how your birthday went. Let me know how you're doing. Love to hear from you. Very beautiful young lady. And Catherine, you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And a big cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. You know what that means, folks? It leaves a lot of room for additional shout-outs. All right? And let's get to the trivia question we had. This was a good one. Oh, really good. Thank you to our lovely lady admin, Gidget, for um, coming up with this question. How many chromosomes does a cow have? Oh, I didn't know that. I had to look that one up. Well, our man Brian Cover, a badass, juicy posse member I worked with in jolly old England, living in Japan, I think. Uh, Okinawa. Is that where you moved to? I don't even remember where you moved to. I honestly don't. We stay in touch all the time. You and your wonderful better half, Meredith. And you guys always get get in on the trivia questions. We post trivia questions every day on Beer and Song of the Day, folks. Keep paying attention to the page. But he said 60. And Brian, wicked awesome job, brother. Apps 
absolutely right. I love Dr. Salute to you. 60 chromosomes. It didn't say how many pairs. It said how many chromosomes. And I looked it up and verified, as opposed to defecated, the answer. And it was indeed 60 chromosomes. Way to go, Brian. Wicked, awesome job. Um, one of our daily viewers, my man Jeff Dimmitt, um, his son, Big McLeod Huge, is the male admin of the show and the creator of the Baron Song of the Day Facebook page. Well, brother Jeff Dimmitt said, uh, he didn't say that. Squeeze me. He said, just enough. Loved it. I had to throw that in there. Another daily viewer of the show, former admin of the show, our man Kevin Sherman. You've heard that name mentioned a lot. I love this answer. I had to try, I had to throw it in there. He said, I don't know, but this burger tastes great. Hell yeah. Like I say, PETA. What's that stand for? PETA. Uh, people eating tasty animals. Damn right. If you got a problem with that, please let me know, okay? They're in my food chain. I can't help it. God, I love... I, I'm going to be eating some uh, chicken tonight. You know, chicken, the bird. That's right. Taquitos for dinner tonight. Mmm. Love that chicken. All right. So, so there you go. Here's your trivia question for today. And before I get to uh, our additional shout-outs, I haven't brought it out in a bit, so I want to bring out because I keep meeting people who have never heard of George Kylan before. A true legend. So, let's bring out George Kylan from the book, When Will Jesus Bring the Pork Chops? Oh, let's go, go to the other book. Napalm and Silly Putty, George Kylan, legend. Definitely a legend. And, to throw it out there, one of the people that I can do without, and I agree with uh, George Kylan on this, anyone who pays for vaginal jelly with a platinum credit card. Really? Yeah, people like that, we could definitely do without. No doubt about that. Okay, additional shout-out time. Let's give some man love to my man, John Thomasick, a badass crew dog that I know from good old Japan, a great man indeed, used to live in Washington State. And I had to give you some man love because I got a shout-out coming later with a man that worked with you a long time ago, back in the style-lifted days. T-Tail Mafia for life! Damn right. You know what I'm talking about. We love them. You're a true Oklahoma fan living down here in the uh, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. Same damn state. And I know how much you love that stuff, brother. Gotta tease you a little bit. Bring your ass along with the rest of you over to the Love Goddess, Casa the Love Goddess. I want to hang out with you, man. I want you as guest co-host on Baron Song of the Day, John. Be like old times hanging out with you. Mr. the hell out of you and hope you enjoy the show, brother. And let's give some a shout out to a lovely, beautiful Montana Woe Man. Her name, Jessica Thompson. GCS Posse member I worked with in uh, jolly old England. She is living in the greatest state of, in the nation, Massachusetts, because without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America Perry dot in the freaking story. And she even admitted that Massachusetts drivers are awesome. Damn right we are. A little aggressive, sure, but by golly, we are awesome. Hell of a lot better than most of the country, believe me. And uh, she's not from Massachusetts, she's from Montana, home of moose drool. And I know, Jess, I know you want to get some moose drool. Well, I think you can if you go to Cappy's Liquors. I think you can. So, want to give you a shout-out and say, Hey, butter bing, what's happening? Let's give a shout-out to our good friends Casey and his wonderful, gorgeous, better half, Ashley. Casey and Ashley Cushing. Who Jessica knows, even though we all work together in jolly old England, Jessica knows Casey. They went to school together in Montana. Small world, ain't it? Wow, and they met in jolly old England. Holy smokes. He's a bubble-chasing badass that lives in New Mexico, otherwise known as Eastern Arizona. Casey, brother, I know how much you love this stuff, but I wanted to give you some love. And I know you're a big country guy, and I think you're going to love the two songs we played today, so... Put them ears up, because brother, you're going to love it. And sister, Ashley, you're going to love it too. And uh, cheers and beers to the two of you. Definitely miss the hell out of you. And let's give some love to uh, Mike and his better half, Candy McDowell, living in Florida from Kansas. And I always give them shit, because they're Yankee fans. Them and their wonderful young lady daughter, Ireland. Ah. Oh. The McDowell family, Barry Delilah and I love you. We do, big time. We miss the hell out of you. And uh, Candy's my second wife. If you don't believe me, just ask her. You know, 
Ask my wife. She'll tell you. Yep. Candy's my second wife. But they're Yankee fans. So I have to laugh at you. Ha! How's it feel to watch my Red Sox winning? Duh. I know. You're going to come back and chime in. But I love you guys. I miss you living in Florida, the land of the old people. Yet they're way too young to be considered old. Hey, somebody's got to keep them old people moving. And Mike and Candy in Ireland will definitely do that. He's a badass, bubble-chasing son of a gun I worked with in jolly old England. That's where we knew them from. And uh, Mike, Candy, Ireland, definitely miss you. And uh, much love to you. Much respect. And finally, I want to give a shout-out. Just met the guy yesterday. Awesome, badass, comical nav wizard. And a great leader of men, women, and it's. And uh, his name, Jim Bowles. He just came to us from jolly old England, moving down here to Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as West Louisiana, and he used to live in Washington State, and he used to work with my man John Thomasick, and I had to mention that. In fact, he's a proud member, T-Tail Mafia for life. That's right. T-Tail Mafia for life. Okay? Remember that. Style lifter, baby. Jim, hell of a guy, man. Great meeting you yesterday, and, uh, Eventually, we need to get together sometime, drink some adult beverages. Why? Because we well, can. And it's all about enjoying life. If the day ends in a while, it's a great day, period, dot, end of freaking story. So, cheers and beers, brother. Hope you enjoy the show. All right. I think it's time we bring out the hunk of the day for the ladies and the men that love the men. This guy is celebrating a birthday. Milestone birthday. Only 20 years old. Young, up-and-coming, yeehaw country singer. I've never heard of the guy. Scotty McCreary. That's Scotty. No, not that Scotty. Not James Doohan from Star Trek, okay? I know a lot of you Trekkies and Trekkers out there. That's the only Scotty around. Oh, no, there's more than that. Scotty McCreary. Way to go to our lady admin Gidget, recognizing that he needs to be hunk of the day. Why not? I think all men are disgusting, ugly, and repulsive. But that's just me. If I was a woman, I'd be a lesbian. So anyway... How about we bring out some real hillbilly music from 1953. Curtis Gordon <coughs> did a lot of hillbilly, rockabilly back in the 50s. And this is one of his early ones. Romping and Stomping. 60-year-old song. Never gets old. Great song. Love this song. This is real country at its finest, folks. I'm not a big country music fan, but I love this stuff. I'm becoming more of a country fan. Not a fan of modern country, but boy do I love that classic country and hillbilly music and bluegrass. Yeehaw! Y'all know you play the shit backwards. You get your ex back, your kids back, your um, truck back, your mobile home back, your guns back. But most of all, what I mean, most of all, you play it backwards, you get that hunting dog back, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Young and upcoming yeehaw country singer. Hey, you never know, this guy could turn into the ne next Hank Williams Sr. It's Curtis Gordon, folks. Romping and stomping. See, look at that. Rockin' and rolling. Rock and roll mentioned, 1953. What a lot of people don't know is the term rock and roll, that term actually meant sex, believe it or not, it's true. They've been talking about rock and roll since the 1920s, folks. Originated in blues music. Go figure, everything revolves around the blues, and I'm a big blues man. Folks, on this day in 1940, sadly assassinated December 8th, 1980, a legend of a man, the late great John Lennon was born. John Lennon of the Beatles, that's right. Um, and ironically, his son was born 35 years later on this day, Sean Lennon. How about them apples, eh? That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Squeeze me. On this day in 1966, David Cameron was born. If you don't know who that is, that's the Prime Minister of Great Britain. He's only 47 years old. Bet you he lives at 10 Downing Street. Damn right. On this day in 1952, now here's a British lady a lot of people are well aware of. Sharon Osbourne, the better half of one Ozzy Osbourne. She's 61 years old today, and she is definitely awesome. The late, great Eddie Guerrero. 
Latino Heat. That's right. I'm a WWE fan, formerly known as WWF. Been a wrestling fan for 30 years. Latino Heat. Eddie Guerrero, born this day in 1967. Sadly passed away in 2005, 38 years old, much too young. Scott Bakula. If you ain't familiar with the TV show Quantum Leap, oh my goodness. Love that show. Five years it ran. Scott Bakula, 59 years old. And he's also known as Captain Jonathan Archer for Star Trek Enterprise. How about them apples, huh? So there you go. 59 years old. There is your hunk of the day. Scotty McCreary. Um, on a day in 1948, he's 65 years old today. He's a senior citizen. Makes me feel old. Jackson Brown. He kind of looks like death. <laughs> hey, I know. I'm one to talk. I'm the poster boy for birth control. I get it. Okay, my wife had her contacts installed backwards when she met me. But hey, time and personality, baby. That's what I got. Better than nothing. On a day in 1973. He's 40 years old today. Steve Burns. Original co-creator and first host of Blues Clues on Nickelodeon. That's right. My daughter used to watch that show religiously. Um, on a day in 1944, passed away 2002. John Entwistle. Anybody like classic rock like I do, they know all about The Who. The Who? Yes, The Who. And he was the bass player for The Who. Zachary Ty Bryan. Ah, yes. One of the kids from Home Improvement. Yes, I know. He's 32 years old today. Damn, I feel old. Annika Sornstam, the lovely Swedish golfer, one of the greatest female golfers of all time, quite possibly the greatest female golfer of all time. Some might say Babe Didrikson Zaharias, but <clears throat> either way, she's 43 years old today. Way to go, Annika, and you're beautiful. Mike Singletary, badass, number 50, inside linebacker. Stop, Bears, that's right. I know he whooped our ass January 26, 1986, Super Bowl 20. I'm a Patriots fan. He whooped our ass along with everybody. Mike Singletary, I thought he'd be a better head coach. Didn't do so hot with the 49ers. But Mike Singletary, a great leader of men, women, and it's 55 years old today, and I think he deserves another head coaching gig. Dude ain't no joke. Mike Singletary, much love to that guy. And then we've got the babe of the day to celebrate the birthday and i'll get to that in just a moment let me take it another swig of my adult beverage over here all right caveat warning parental advisory explicit lyrics that means if you have sensitive ears do not watch this for the next four minutes i've got a phenomenal song Dirty Country! Oh, yeah! Oh, I, I had been wanting to bring this one out for a long damn time. And I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. All right. The song's from 1998. And it is called... Oh, yes. Watch those ears. My Pecker Just Won't Stand Up Anymore by Larry Pierce, known as The Dirty Old Man, 1998. Boy, this song show is great, y'all. You're going to love this. Ooh, almost hit the wrong button. Almost stopped the uh, recording. Well, Pecker just won't stand up anymore as we give a birthday shout out to 44 year old British sweetie PJ Hervey, musician. She is definitely not a country girl, but that's okay. Who says it has to be country? So cute. Song. Look here. That is a gun, folks. That is a one. Check that picture. I can drop the F bomb now. Well, lick my legs. Not my legs, her legs. She's an interesting woman. British girl. Clavage, French for cleavage. It's a real country, y'all. You gotta have some pecker music, y'all. That's right. And if you ain't got a pecker, maybe you are what you eat. I don't know. 
Did I just say that? Yep. She looks anorexic there. I don't know. Big McLodge Huge picked this lady, and I'm like, I don't know. There's something about her that makes her cute. And yet she can look horrifying there. It looks almost like the Joker in Batman right there. But yet, what a body. Panties. Panties. Um, I actually had downloaded a few more pictures. Of there was one of her with hairy armpits. Hey, she's European, okay? What do you want from me? I say I like that, but she can look so attractive. It's amazing. Kind of like Drew Barrymore. That woman can look like a complete and utter skank one second and look like a total goddess the next. Madonna. Same thing for her. And then, of course, you do have actual skanks. Lindsay Lohan, Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears. They're skanks. I love this picture. One, she's naked. Two, she's picking up a man and putting him over her shoulders. That a whoa, man, you don't mess with, y'all. <laughs> I want you all to hear the lyrics. America! Oh yeah, there you go. There's your baby of the day. There's your final song of the day. Let's get to some this day in history real quick, and then I'll make like a fetus to head out. On this day in 2010, wild celebrations occur as a drill reaches an underground chamber with 33 trapped Chilean miners inside. I remember watching that. That was awesome. On this day in 1997, North Carolina Tar Heels uh, basketball coach Dean Smith, the winningest college basketball coach at the time, retired. On this day in 1989, first NFL game coached by a black man, Art Shell of the Los Angeles Raiders at the time. Beat the New York Jets. Boy, I always love that. 14-7 on Monday Night Football. Wow, first NFL game coached by a black man. It took all the way to 1989 to have a black head coach in the NFL. Better late than never, but what the hell were they thinking? On this day in 1980, foul. Kathy Sullivan becomes the first U.S. woman to walk in space. Again, why so late? On this day in 1980, the first consumer use of a home of home banking by computer. Eee. So, yeah, I'll bet that didn't go too well. On this day in 1975, I remember reading reading about it, watching some old footage, race riots in Boston due to busing. Oh, it was just brutal. What the hell would... Uh, racism in the 70s. Just Racism just stupid. This is not stupid. On this day in 1974, Washington Capitals, first ever NHL game. They lost 6-3 to to the New York Rangers at Madison Square Garden. The Washington Capitals began a 37-game road losing streak. Good, because I can't stand them. On this day in 1973, Warriors-Cavaliers game in Cleveland postponed because of wet floors. Well, pull out a freaking mop and mop it, you schlepper. Jeez. On this day in 1970, Khmer Republic, known as Cambodia, declares independence. Happy Independence Day. Same day that Annika Sorenstam was born. On this day in 1960, this is a good one. Cow Dallas Cowboys quarterback Eddie LeBaron throws the shortest touchdown pass ever. Two inches. That's what she said. Oh, my goodness. On this day, 1950, foul. KGIV TV Channel 4, Sioux City, Iowa, NBC affiliate begins broadcasting. On this day, 1948, the day that Jackson Brown was born. WXYZ TV Channel 7, Detroit, Michigan. ABC affiliate begins broadcasting. On this day, 1947, listen up to this one, folks. First telephone conversation between a moving car and... And a plane occurred. No shit. I had to double check that one and look that one up. Yep, mobile phone, 1947. It happened. Listen to this one too, folks. You don't see them around nowadays, do you? And my parents used to have one. On this day in 1946, the first ever electric blanket manufactured. Sold for $39.50 in 1946. <laughs> now, you couldn't even... You'd have to pay somebody to take it off your hands. On this day in 1938, Cleveland Browns and Chicago Bears play a penalty-free NFL game. How often does that happen? Not very. On this day in 1936, the Hoover Dam begins transmitting electricity to Los Angeles, California. Don't worry, they, L.A. had electricity before then. Jeez. On this day in 1930, first transcontinental flight by a woman completed. Laura Ingalls, 
the same lady that wrote Little House on the Prairie and all those uh, books. And that show was based on Laura Ingalls Wilder. Wow. Small world, eh? So I'm talking about. Oh, Canada, indeed. Um, on a day in 1926, NBC, the National Broadcasting Corporation, forms. On a day in 1915, Woodrow Wilson becomes the first president to attend the World Series game. Who gives a shit? On a day in 1888, the Washington Monument opens for public admittance. Awesome. On a day in 1877, the American Humane Association organizes in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, I don't know about the dog pound of Cleveland Browns fans. I don't know how humane they are. That's why they call them the dog pound. Ha! On a day in 1876, the first ever two-way telephone conversation and the first over outdoor wires. On a day in 1872, Aaron Montgomery, that's right, Montgomery Ward, started his mail order business. On a day in 1865, the first U.S. underground pipeline for carrying oil is laid in Pennsylvania. They call it Earl there. I know I've met people that call it that shit. On a day in 1855, Isaac Singer patents the sewing machine motor. On a day in 1776, Mission Dolores, founded by San Francisco Bay. Mission Dolores? Mm. Missionary Dolores? I, I don't know. On a day in 1701, Collegiate School of Connecticut, otherwise known as Yale University, chartered in New Haven. How about that? On a day in 1635, religious dissident Roger Williams banished from Massachusetts Bay Colony. A year later, he founded Rhode Island. That's right, 1636. So, Roger Williams said, Mass holes said, Nope, we don't want you. It's all right. Wish we could banish some people in this world. Ugh. I was saying, 1446, Korean Hangwao, Hangwao alphabet devised. H A N G U A L. I, G U A L. I hope I pronounced it right. And finally, on his day, in 1000. Leif Erikson discovers Vinland, possibly New England. Records weren't kept very well uh, 1,100 years ago. I'm, I'm sorry, 1,013 years ago. What do you want from me, huh? Empty as a brain cells on Adam Jake, fan. <laughs> Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, time to make a fetus to head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink a dry my spirit. Drink all you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drink a dry is dumb to be a, a Yankee fan. And what's dumb to that? It's rooting for douchebag cock cocksuckers like Owen Five, Eli Manning. Oh, I'm as gay as Tom Brady. Yeah, bullshit. Manning or men slapping women or animal abuse or racism or people who watch on bets or fake friends or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big. G-F-Y. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Little heads up, y'all. Tomorrow, Thrash Metal Thursday. Another real babe of the day. Oh, yeah.